The UN Security Council is set to convene an emergency meeting over the regime's latest provocation, but it's unclear if the session will result in any real consequences for Pyongyang, as Russia and China's approach to the issue differs from that of the United States. Connie Kim takes a closer look. The United Nations Security Council is to hold an emergency session in New York on Wednesday over North Korea's recent ballistic missile launch. But different approaches from the council's member states in dealing with Pyongyang are already hinting at a bumpy road ahead in punishing the regime for its action. The U.S. is firm and clear in its stance as shown in a statement issued by U.S. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson. The U.S. will never accept a nuclear-armed North Korea. In the statement, Tillerson said the U.S. will seek stronger measures at the U.N. Security Council to hold Pyongyang accountable for the latest missile launch. Cutting or scaling down oil exports in North Korea or banning additional North Korean laborers from working abroad are some of the options that could be brought up as new sanctions. But it seems like the key to imposing stronger-than-ever sanctions on Pyongyang will most likely depend on how the U.S. hammers a deal with China and Russia. Even after Pyongyang's announcement of having successfully tested an ICBM launch, Beijing and Moscow's joint statement following their summit called on Seoul and Washington to sign up to a Chinese de-escalation plan aimed at defusing tensions on Pyongyang's missile program. China and Russia share land borders with North Korea, and both have influential roles in maintaining stability around the Korean Peninsula. While Beijing is expected to oppose imposing stronger U.N. sanctions on North Korea, there is also speculation that Washington could slap sanctions on Chinese companies having links to Pyongyang and increase its weapons sale to Taiwan, a move Beijing has been strongly against. Connie Kim, Arirang News.